Hey, what's up, everybody? Who we are and how we got here. Ancient DNA and the New Science of the Human Past by David Reich. David Reich runs the DNA lab at Harvard Medical School and is one of the modern pioneers responsible for some of the advances in DNA technology. I was pretty excited to read this book because when I read Svante Pablo's Neanderthal Man, link in the description, he mentions his partnership with David Reich. But this book was very different from Neanderthal Man. Who we are and how we got here felt more like a textbook. This was not what I would call a casual read. Who we are and how we got here is fairly intense, meaning that this may be one of the more fact-dense books I've ever read. So what is the book really about? Well, the title is very well picked. The book is about ancient humans and specifically population migrations, spreads, and mixings through history. This book challenged my conception of what a population is or ways of thinking about a people. A key theme with this book is that populations are much more complex than we ever used to think. Almost any population we look at is actually comprised of repeated migrations and mixes of different peoples coming and going to and from different areas over thousands of years, and what we see today is only a current state of that population, and it's the more recent advances in DNA technology that have allowed us to discover much of what we now know, especially the ability to compare parts from the entire genome between different peoples around the world from different times. Before DNA was such a powerful tool, we had to rely much more on comparative analysis from archaeologists, linguists, and physical anthropologists to provide insights into these ancient populations. This book is here to say, hey, DNA offers new ways of looking into questions, many of which other disciplines could never have even asked. This book also covers some of the history of genetic technology, of course, human history and population movements across the entire globe, and using DNA as a scientific backing, Reich weighs in on the concept of race, which, spoiler, ideas like racial purity are as illogical as they are immoral. We also look at how understanding changes in DNA can allow us to create better medical treatments, the amount of information that we can get from looking at DNA is absolutely staggering. Ancient DNA analysis answers questions like, when and from where did agriculture arise in the American Southwest? By comparing mutations in DNA, we know that it was actually brought up by immigrants from modern-day Mexico several thousand years ago. That's just one example, and this book is full of information like that. There are three parts to this book. Part 1, The Deep History of Our Species, and Part 2, How We Got Where We Are Today, are both about the complexities of human history, but also the recent technological advances in DNA research. And Part 3, The Disruptive Genome, focuses on some of the controversy that surrounds genomics, but also the benefits of having a better understanding of our DNA. And due to the sensitive nature of some of his work, Reich has been called a racist by some, so he takes the opportunity to defend himself with this book. This is a risk that anyone studying differences in people might face. Reich makes his stance very clear, which is that racial stereotypes are not only hurtful, but scientifically invalid. An example in this book is that uh, a reason that Anasazi Jews are sometimes perceived as more intelligent is a problem of bias in sampling, not of actual differences in people. This kind of thing is only found in the last couple of chapters, and most of the book focuses on history. And I'll say again, this book is very fact-dense. Every other sentence in this book is something you want to write down. I think the best way to consume this book would be to do it over the course of a week and to be taking a lot of notes, and then reread the entire thing. The book does contain a lot of graphs and charts and maps, and the audiobook can be found online if you'd rather do it that way. But this was a very fascinating read. I'll be looking at populations in a different way after reading this book. And knowing that the populations we see today are relatively new things in the world is endlessly fascinating. We now know that there existed other diverse forms that just aren't around today, and it really stirs the imagination to think about what else could have been. And some of these populations 
may have contributed to your heritage or mine, and some of them we don't even have formal names for. This book covers almost the entire globe and goes back to the time of the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. It's really fascinating. This is who we come from, our human family tree. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're looking for a pretty dense book on the history of human populations that'll keep you busy for a while, check out Who We Are and How We Got Here by David Reich.